Good, thank you. No, just kind of bargain hunting, thank you. <laughs>
much of your bargain home screen here. Yes. So the best deal we have going on, which is actually going to end the day, just mm -hmm. because all of our sales go from Sunday to Saturday. Okay. The way our week starts. So. Okay. Right back here, I'll show you what we got for TVs. These are the deals of the week here. So for a 50 inch, 120 hertz sharp is mm -hmm. 500 bucks. Oh, really okay. good deal. And then the uh, 60 inch is 799. Mm -hmm. So either either one of those, that's probably the best deal. I mean, you could go with like the RCA. It's not nearly as good of a brand. The mm -hmm. build quality is not as nice. These mm -hmm. are good to use the sharp ones. So mm -hmm. uh, the price here, mm -hmm. very good deal. Um, and then there's the 47 inch LG for 499. What would you recommend for um, you know one of these more smart TVs, the ones that have a lot of the integrated services in it? Mm -hmm. um, who's I mean, the most popular brand? Samsung. Samsung. Is? Samsung. If you look it up, they've been um, rated number one in like uh, smart TV for the uh -huh. past four years. They oh, just okay. have a, a ton of different options. They have a lot more apps mm -hmm. than anybody else does. Mm -hmm. They have a really uh, easy to use web browser that's built in there. Um, so if you're going to be heavily using like smart TV features, then I would go with a, a Samsung. I see. I mean, how does it compare to against like uh, like Sony or maybe? Um, it's still better just because of more options. Like uh -huh. each brand, like, like I have a Samsung and I have a Vizio, and the Vizio only has like 30 apps on there, and the Samsung mm -hmm. one has like hundreds of apps to choose from. Uh, it's, most people don't care because they're only using two or three apps anyway, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but if you are using a lot of those features, then you have a better shot of having the apps that you want on a Samsung compared to a Sony or LG or Vizio or mm -hmm. Sharp or anything like that. How, how, how popular are uh, like Panasonic and uh, Pioneer TVs these days? No more Pioneer TVs. They don't exist. Um, okay. Panasonic. They're very popular. Um, I assume you're talking about plasma TVs. Yeah. Uh, Panasonic announced like two months ago that they're no longer going to make plasma TVs after this year's Oh, okay. So they still have some out, and they're some of the highest rated TVs ever made, mm -hmm. uh, but they're not going to make them anymore. Um, so that leaves only Samsung and LG as people that are going to continue to make plasma TVs. Now the Samsung one, that's uh, their high-end one, is a very, mm -hmm. very good TV. It actually has the same ratings as like the Panasonic plasma mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. um, the other ones, not so much. Like we have some over here. You can see like uh, Samsung is a right. 51 inch plasma right. TV, but it's like a $1,900 TV for mm -hmm. that size. It's pretty expensive, but I mean, it has all the same features in it that their top of the line LED TV has. Okay. Quad core processor, beautiful picture, everything runs nice and smooth, has this 1080p webcam built in there, has motion controls, voice activation. Comes with an IR blaster, so the TV can communicate with like the mm -hmm. cable box and change the channels for you and stuff. Um, it's my, just the plasma technology. To be honest, um, my budget is more around like seventeen hundred. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend for that kind of price range? Is that after tax and everything? Um, yeah, yeah, after okay. tax. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I mean, the best TV you can get for your money. Mm -hmm. What size do you want it to be? Is that also? Um, well, makes I'm a hope, hoping for the TV to be, you know, maybe around 46 or bigger. Okay. So then, like, you can go with a 46 inch. 
of like uh -huh. the 7100. Uh -huh. The 8000 is this one here. That's their top of the line model. Okay. That's like 1900 for the 46 inch size. So. I see. The plasma version that's 51 is right now is 1799. Oh, okay. So it's only $100 above and it's an amazing TV. I see. Um, if you wanted to go down a two levels for Samsung, this would be the 7100. Mm -hmm. They make a 46 inch as well and then it jumps up to 55. But that one, one second. I'll check the prices on there for because I think either one should be. The big difference is between these two TVs, they're both 240 hertz, which is great for the refresh rate both have the 3D and the smart TV and all that. It's just you're going from like a dual core processor to a quad core processor in there. I see. So you can get the 55 inch version of this for right. $15.99. So that's oh, within okay. the, the budget. And this is an excellent TV. So you can see down here, Right. Um, these are kind of the two we're comparing here. Mm -hmm. So both 240 hertz active, four mm -hmm. pairs of glasses for the 3D. Mm -hmm. They have the uh, smart apps, full web browser, dual core. It has regular local dimming, doesn't have like the pro or ultimate um, as the other models do, but it does have local dimming in there. Okay. So I'm within your budget, I would, personally, I would convince you to try to spend another 200 bucks and uh -huh. get the plasma one because it's going to have all the features of this TV. Right. It's this one here, right? Okay. So you have a 600 hertz refresh rate. Active 3D, smart ass has the quad core processor, doesn't need local dimming because it's a plasma. Mm -hmm. So it already looks amazing as far as the picture quality. You get more detail out of this picture. The black levels are much better, the mm -hmm. contrast is better. And the nice thing about the Samsung top of line plasmas is they still look really good with the color. I see. Um, like Panasonic's, if you look at them, it looks like there's a dark film kind of playing oh, over okay. the image. Okay. And the, the, the Samsung one's still nice and bright and the colors are vibrant on there, but it's still able to have that really great contrast. <laughs> okay. Seems like Samsung is kind of killing the rest of the competition, huh? Yeah, well, they are making TVs for just about everyone, though. They have tons of options. Sony uh -huh. decided to not have as many. Like, if you look here for Sony, right. you look at all those TVs they have right. for this year. Right. That's all Sony's options are here. I see. Um, not, not, a, not a lot of selection. So, um, okay. they're more focused on their 4K technology right. than anything else. They have, these are just little 32-inch only 40 inches this one has three different sizes like you're not not only are they only making mm -hmm. six different mm -hmm. models but mm -hmm. in each one of those models they only have a couple of sizes compared to if you look over at those you're having you know a full range of models there with tons of different features uh, but on the 4k stuff sony's number one by far it's just they decided not to really focus on regular TVs too much. LG has quite a decent selection. I mean, even Vizio does. I would scratch anything that's E in the front of it. The M series is good. E series, not really. Um, but yeah, for if that's what your budget is, really would consider that too. Because I can take you into Magnolia and show you um, the 51 inch and 60 inch is the same picture. You can just see the difference even compared to like a really high end Panasonic plasma. You should notice a, a difference in picture quality immediately. <laughs>